Hold on, I'm still speaking. You will speak after I'm done. Genge, boss, boss, boss. I need to apologize for I'm the one that made it. We're not asking, asking for an apology. It's like you're going there, you're not saying you're, you're around assuming. Around the point. Go to the point. If you want to I talk to me, talk to, to me direct. Very Don't go through the corners. <laughs> oh my god, I had the time of my life. I had the time of my life with this whole thing because you know, since nine the house, everybody has been like calm and everything. But today, there was a lot of upper court, although it was not like plenty, plenty, plenty. I apologize if this is coming a bit late. As at the time the whole thing was happening, I just posted the video not long ago. So I was kind of tired. I didn't want to come here sounding all tired. I wanted to be able to articulate the gist and bring the full thing. You guys know that. I always bring the full gist. So I'm here with the full, you know, from the beginning to the end. So that you guys can really understand what happened. Because some people didn't watch it. And then also, if you go to Twitter, you might not really get the accurate gist. So I'm here for you. If you're new to my channel, please do subscribe, turn on your post notifications so that I can get notified each time I post a brand new video. And don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. So what happened? I have to note down things so that I don't forget some things. What happened? First of all, okay, um, they were upstairs after their presentation. By the way, they lost. <laughs> they lost their wager and I'm not even surprised at all. I didn't even have high expectations. I'm not surprised at all, but we're going to talk about the wager towards the end. Let's address let's talk about the bus bulls first so um after their wager because of the loss and everything um uh, some of them were a little bit grumpy so they were upstairs discussing about some people that you know some people that did certain things that they noticed during the drama presentation um when they took us when the camera went there Nali, Nali was talking about yoli that she noticed that yoli was all like being all <sighs> Oh, very dramatic. And she was like, ah, where is all this coming from? And I actually noticed Yoli's own over dramatic attitude towards the play. And I'm like, bro, what's going on here? I don't know. Like, what's going on? I mean, I just remember having like a very awkward look with Yoli. You know, she was like, saying, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, what the f is going on? That's the first thing that we saw when they took the camera upstairs. Then I don't even know how the thing just switched. Like, they were talking about the drama and the next thing Nipo was like um she was having a conversation with Akesha and Akesha was telling her that um, why is it that the ladies cannot sit down like the ladies cannot sit down and have a conversation just like the way the guys do and she was like um why is it easier for the guys to sit together more than the girls and I'm telling her that it's because we're less girls we're as a joke and I'm actually that because yeah, yeah, yeah. the guys more and I'm like no now <laughs> They are talking about the play for tonight. How is she? Like the next thing she's talking about, you know, something completely different about like general um, stuff about the ladies. So I'm like, okay, no problem. They should continue talking. Then she now spoke her language. I didn't get that part. They do that sometimes, and you know, I'm not able to grasp what they're saying there. If you understand um, what she said, I'm good. I'm, maybe I'll just put it so that anybody that understands can interpret in the comment section. So um, when she was talking about that, she now talked about the fact that um, some people don't even eat her food. That if you're not eating her food and all of that, like it just shows that you know the likeness is not there. It's like I'm on one side of this camera. It just shows that you know maybe the likeness is not there, or like if somebody has something against her, they're not like ah, who's the person that didn't eat your food? She now says she saw a plate that um somebody just left a food and um, somebody just left their food untouched. I don't know, I don't think she was talking about anybody in particular. I don't I don't think she knows who did not eat her food, but um she just mentioned that somebody didn't eat her food. There's a lot of things that are happening yeah. that nothing has even my food, bro. If someone didn't even eat the food I made, that's yeah. important things on Jesus. Meanwhile, Terry was the ginger mama. <laughs> How was just a ginger? Like, what's happening? What's ha what's even going on in this house? How was just a ginger? You gotta tell me you don't like you don't pretend. So we know yeah, they like, can't oh, 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 oh. was just a ginger and agree with what they were saying. Like, you know, people were raising points and she was agreeing then, you know, with what they were saying. That's that was her own um contribution to what was happening upstairs. Then it was at this point that Nale now said, okay, that they should they need to go and address it in the house, that they should go down and address it in the house. Then she now brought up Dinky Bliss. She said that um apparently Dinky Bliss has some underlying issues that she knows that she has some underlying issues. That one Terry also agreed and you know that's when they now brought up the whole thing keep the situation then she now noted that even in the drama that why is it why did she feel the need to bring up why is it there that she was supposed to address her issues with the housemates i say that we address this now i definitely know that um, people are just being too busy in this house some really deep underlying issues and also you're gonna you're gonna now choose this moment to like now express yourself in the house so basically during the drama right 
her own parts like the drama is supposed to be about them expressing um things about themselves their past like what they've been through just about them in general so um during the drama dinky please said something and um, completely off so it was not what was during their practice what they were practicing is not what she did when she went in that's what nelly was talking about that and why is it there like why was she why is it there that she now had to address the issue then she also mentioned that um dinky bliss knows what she's doing that's that's basically that's literally what she came here to do like more like maybe cause trouble or something like that and that they're not just going to pretend like they don't know they're not saying what she's doing or they don't know what she's doing so let them go and address it. She's doing exactly what she came here to do, bro. So what we're gonna do is we're not gonna act like we're not seeing what she's doing. And the others agreed. Like they all went down. Um, what's her name? Mufo Mpo was also going to address her own matter with everybody. So they now all went downstairs, called for a meeting, called everybody. They sat down together. It was during this time that these people decided that they were going to go on break. Can you imagine? So we did not. We did not exactly get to hear the beginning of the the conversation i'm like you know nah, for just wait more like <laughs> just wait a bit now let's hear what's happening because after all the ginger upstairs i was thinking that by the time they go down you know we're going to see some mouth punches so but at the time they came back from break i had other housemates just talking about like you know how the play went that they tried and they didn't try i'm like where's all the ginger um didn't keep this now took them back to what happened like what they were saying i'm like okay we're back now so at this point she now asked nali that like what is she trying to say that she wants to understand her what she's trying to say so nali was now like okay that this is exactly what she wanted that like, the situation on ground is what she wanted what um think is it what she wanted like everything is happening how she wanted the communication ah now so think please now you know interjected she now said with me as in <laughs> it's now it's my name that you want to use to you know, set to the issue. Exactly what you're doing is exactly what mm -hmm. I wanted. This is exactly what I wanted. Mm -hmm. This, the communication, the understanding. By using me. No one is being used. That's when a lady was trying to tell her that um, nobody is being used, that she's not being used. And she's like, but you literally started this conversation with my name. Like you said, you called my name, like at the beginning of this conversation. That's when I now noticed that, okay, I think um, Dinky Biz was the first person that Naledi addressed at the beginning of the conversation. So, you know, at this point, both of them are like trying to prove that, oh, it's not about you. It's about you. It's about you. It's about you. <laughs> so Dinky Biz sharp pointed out that out of everybody in the house, she was the one, like she didn't say any other name's call. It was her name. Then Nali now said, okay, that's, um, the truth is, maybe it has something to do with the play like during their drama that it has to do with the drama that's during the presentation that she went off out of every freaking person that is here you would choose my name that's what i'm yes. asking you okay so from my personal standpoint maybe it has to do a bit with your play okay last time i checked that wasn't in the script it took me by surprise now this was when tato now went uh, now came in and said her own she was not like tato now asked um nalida um, why is it that it's Dinky Bliss that she's addressing? Because she noticed that so many other people went off, like all of them went off, like they didn't go according to the script. So why is why is Nali addressing just Dinky Bliss? Like she that was the that's the question that she asked. Although some people were like, ah, they didn't go off script and everything. So she asked that one. I wanted to say that I feel like everybody deviated from script yeah. so i just wanted you to clarify why specifically you, you, you were highlighting and then that's when Nale was not like um she knows that this whole thing may seem like a personal attack to attack on dinky please but that is not really an attack that so many other people might have gone off but for dinky please she went completely off that it was not even she didn't get to introduce herself she didn't talk about herself so she just mentioned why it was dinky blaze because according to her dinky blaze went off like if maybe they went off on a scale of you know, one to ten they were off like uh maybe three percent three and then the rest um dinky blaze was probably off like maybe nine percent she didn't use that but i'm just the one <laughs> including that in this description so you guys will understand so that was the excuse that she gave so at this point dinky blaze now asked her that okay all this they are saying now um should i apologize i think that she apologized for you know this thing like maybe i'm the one that made you guys feel or what and then um nali was like no that that's not what she's saying that's when the key is now said that thing that she said that um she should she goes straight to the point that that's but she's getting there that she's getting to that whole point of okay this is what we need from you and that she should not cut through the corners she should go straight to the point <laughs> 
to apologize for. I'm the one that made it. We're not asking asking for an apology. It's like you're going there. You're not saying. You're assuming. Go to the point. Then Akisha, Akasha now said her own too, talking about the whole Dinkibri situation, that um, she was going to address her on the side, but since they are already talking about, let us say her own. So Akasha said that from what she, she noticed about Dinkibri's presentation is that um, Dinkibri said that she was not going to go to talk about the negative side of what she has been through, that she was going to talk about the positive. So she, she was thrown off by the fact that Dinky Blaze now went all negative, that that was not the plan, that that's what shocked her, that she doesn't feel like, okay, the, um, she acted, the acting was bad or anything, but she was just shocked that um, Dinky Blaze did what she said she was not going to do, like, you know. So, um, after Akisha now talked, Dinky Blaze now said, okay, that um, she's sorry, and, like, you know, she apologizes for what happened, that she knows she went off completely, but she did not really, like, what happened to her there was she blanked out, she did not really know what she planned was like it didn't just come to her head so it was not intentional and everything that that's just how she was able to cope on the spot if you solely wanted to discuss the play you could have said so so that i will also apologize yes i do apologize i was uh, i just I, I went off off and she also said that she knows that um, Nale, the, the reason Nale called this meeting to address her in front of everybody was um, so that she's going to, you know, turn, turn everybody against her and everything and everything. Your intentions when you opened this meeting was to say this and to actually make everybody turn against me. And then this thing of yours of coming as if you're some sort of therapist or psychologist just to like put me in a in a calming place so that when now you can just make your statement be heard no then i said no 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 that was not the reason so you know that was just them you know going back and forth with the whole thing later on now umpo now went to meet dinky blaze and was having or, like wanted to have a conversation with her because apparently she didn't like the way there was time she wanted to talk in the meeting and um dinky blaze now like you know kind of shut her up and said that she was not talking to her she was talking to nali so umpo got offended so she now had to call her on the side to like speak to her like if there's anything that she has for her like you know they should squash it what's that that they should squash it so you know just started off as you know normal conversation then dinky please now mentioned that the um she didn't like the way nali um opened the conversation do you understand like she didn't like the way she came at her, so um, that was her issue with the whole thing, that she didn't like the way she addressed it. How she opened it, mm. I didn't appreciate mm. it. And even now, I'm not feeling a check for you. When you gave me that attitude that I'm not talking to you. So, they just started that one. Then the next thing, ah, the conversation now and led to um, her crying and everything. I was like, ah, what's going on here? So, um, what they call it? Mpo was, was like telling her was like trying to get something out of her. At some point when they now started crying and Mpo now made mention of something, I didn't understand. So she said something about like other spiritual healers that she has met that they don't, they don't also like her. So I'm like, does Dinky Blaze also have like, you know, is she also a healer or a spiritual somebody? I don't know. Because you know that Mpo is a spiritual healer. So in fact, I went online and apparently um, so many other people were confused. but. So this is what I saw online. Mpo came to confront Dinky for acting somehow and avoiding her. Dinky was thirsty and defensive at first, but soon broke down. It was an energy thing. Mpo sort of, sort of started consulting. Basically, Dinky also has a band to Adala. All is, well between, all is well between them now. I don't know what a band to Adala means. I don't, I, I've not heard of it before. So maybe there's something there that, you know, um, they just figured out tonight. Then I think that's it for their back and forth. Later on, Sha, there was an apology session between uh, Mpo, um, Nale, and Dinky Blaze. They all came together to do like apology things. So I guess they are good now in quotes. So um, do you guys really want to hear about the play? <laughs> the acting, the thing was just there, Sha. I didn't have any expectations. So I wasn't surprised that they didn't win uh, but tato really did well she did her presentation very well and then their dance was actually cool then i told you that i was going to bring um temba and what's her name venus singing session so because i liked it when they were practicing their, her voice was really nice so i'll just play it a little bit well, i don't have to feel because i'm ascending up on a journey back home. Then Yoli was being over dramatic, like I said before. So, the money. She'll get the money. The money. She'll have the money. 
that's it for the play let me just end this video here thanks for watching guys and don't forget to give it a thumbs up and i'm going to see you in my next video bye i love you